country people like Brit Ronald, they should have BBC feeding service and we they come to Ronald live from um, the Supreme Court Abuja, where the Supreme Court the CBN Naira note with design. And I remember say CBN talks say the old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes ceased to be legal tender until um, President Muhammad Buhari talks say make only 200 Naira. It's, just, it's not just your network, though. everybody knows, and the network has seriously been done. Okay, hold on, network is back. Um, Please, sir, can we talk to you? What um, does this um, Supreme Court ruling mean to Nigerians? It means that... Uh, can you speak in Pidgin? In Pidgin? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, um, tell us what did this thing mean. Well, uh, I would first and foremostly say that uh, this, this, this thing means uh, that our democracy has been saved. I think it's, 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 it's a, it's, it's a should I say... A, a success to the people of this country. Now, the issue of using only 200 naira notes that the president said we should, we should continue, we should continue using. The, 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 the Supreme Court has now said in its, its own decision that the 200 naira, 500 naira, and the 1,000 naira notes should continue uh, being in circulation till 31st December 2023. Okay, the Supreme Court also make another valid point where it say um, Nigerians fit go to their bank, withdraw any amount of money of course. where they like. I beg, explain this thing. Contrary well. to what Mr. President, Mr. President gave the CBN, the directive with respect to the amount that an individual and corporate uh, establishment should use, now you have the right to use your money as at when do you, and when you want to make use of it. That is what the Supreme Court have now decided in order to ease the tension in the country and also uh, uh, all these small businesses will continue striving. Yes. I beg no best. I get one last question for you. Yes. And some people they talk say um, the president get that executive order. Mm. What in the talk, court talk about that executive order? That executive order that, that was given by Mr. President was not given in compliance with the provision of the Constitution. So now, based on the judgment that was given by the Supreme Court now, it means that order that is given is invalid. Ogabek, tell us your name. My name is Barista A.K. Usman Ali. Thank I'm you. The principal state council with the Ministry of Justice. Thank Sorry, you. So uh, chief state council with the Ministry of Justice, Nasara State. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, country people, I hope say and I don't understand them waiting Supreme Court judgment mean today about uh, this CBN redesign policy. I beg, make an annual best. I go stay for, for this place because network for here. It gets a CB. So, make I give on a small background of uh, what happened for inside uh, the Supreme Court today. So, the seven man panel, na Justice Emmanuel Agbim, na in lead um, the judgment, na in give the lead a uh, judgment. So, some of the things where the court talk, be say, and the executive order way President Muhammad Buhari give for that in national broadcast uh, say make only 200 naira notes come back for the next 60 days. Say that one no day correct. Sake of say, first of all, the process where the President Buhari is supposed to follow for this um, naira redesign policy, he no follow him well. He is supposed to consult um, with the Federal Executive Council, the National Economic Council, and the other stakeholders for the country first before that directive is supposed to come out. But this one, in jump all of them, just go give directive to CBN to print a new Naira note. Say that one, no day according to the Constitution. It also talks, say, uh, the law, the directive rather, infringe on the right of the states to use funds and also it make Nigerians they suffer up and down. 
the court also notes, say, for the national um, broadcast where President Buhari gave last last, say, even the broadcast acknowledge, say, citizens, they suffer sake of this policy. So even if, say, President Buhari authorized CBN to carry out this um, Naira redesign policy, the president also acknowledged, say, citizens, they suffer because of this policy. So that one is no good. It can also not point another fact where they say, presidents no give prior notice to citizens before they embark on this um, Naira redesign policy. Say the normal way to go, the president supposed to give official notice to Nigerians through national broadcast or any formal means to notify citizens, say, ah, see the policy where we won't do now, but in no one. Say the notice where then they um, think as notice now waiting the CBN bring out as press release. Say press release where CBN bring out about Naira redesign policy, no be waiting the president of a country supposed to take informed citizens about new um, economic policy where go affect everybody, affect business, affect transactions, and affect them um, other areas of um, businesses. So that one now uh, one of the things where the Supreme Court talk. Another thing where the Supreme Court cancelled that the cash limit. It told the Supreme Court talk say you know they okay where person go get limits of the amount where you go withdraw for your own money where you put inside bank. Say people get rights to withdraw any amount where they want. As far as say now their money where then deposit for bank, then get the rights to withdraw the money as them want. And the argument whether President Buhari disobey court order or not, court to say President Buhari disobey court order. Sake of say, they don't give their order, but income counter their order through national broadcast. And according to the court, I quote waiting court talk, disobedience of the order of the court by the president is a sign of failure of our democracy. Now waiting court talk. So country people, the long and short of this matter be say, you fit use the old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes until 31st of December 2023. So courts don't rule say, the Supreme Court, the number one court for Nigeria, don't rule say, the old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes and the new 1,500 and 200 Naira notes go run concurrently, then go they use them at the same time. So as an see for my front end, um, Governor Aero Fire of Kaduna State, Yaya Bello of um, Kogu State, and um, Zafanito, and Zafanito, so and Zafanito, and Zafanito, and Zafanito, and and Zafanito, so. State um, Aerofy, Governor of Kogi State, and uh, the Zafara State Governor, all of them they show face for court. So they just uh, talk to the people now, now finish as uh, then they work out, they go. We get to uh, the interview of um, waiting, then talk after the judgment. We get the interview, we go post them sharp, sharp for all our social media platforms. Country people, now so it be from the Supreme Court. So people will still get um, the Old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes for their house, for anywhere where they keep them. Congratulations on a fit use the money from now till 31st December 2023. All the money now in a legal tender, according to waiting Supreme Court talk. Um, this lawyer where they come now, um, Kanu Agabi, now he represents um, the federal government, the attorney general of the federation.
case not about them today because uh, we go the other way round. So if you join us this is Namibi CPG and we come to our live from the um, Supreme Court where the Supreme Court done reverse and the CBN Naira redesign policy. As it be so, old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes na legal tender. If you use them, do your business. If you feel go bank, withdraw any amount of money where you want. That restriction of 20,000 a day or 500,000 for corporate organizations, Supreme Court say it day invalid. This one are the legal team of the Attorney General of the Federation. The case no favor them today for the Supreme Court. Then down they work out. Country people, now here we go and then this live video. But the Coco be say, you fit use your 1,500, 200 Naira old notes from today. Now waiting Supreme Court. On a bye-bye.